Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 2021 Lucci Pinot Grigio from Italy. It is 12% alcohol by volume, and I can't remember how much I paid for it because um, I've been up since like 4 o'clock in the morning. My kid had surgery today as of recording this, and so um, it's like I've been up for like 18 hours as of this review. I'm ready to have a glass of wine and go to bed. So, uh, screw top, plus one. Let's get this going. All right, from a color perspective, I'm gonna give you a pale lemon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, on the nose, I'm getting a little bit of green apple, a lot more green pear. There's a bit of lime, there's a slight touch of peach, and that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a pretty simple wine. I just realized, that's out of frame. You know, one day I'll get good at this. I've only done almost a thousand episodes on this channel and I still can't remember to show the bottle sometimes. Leave a like or dislike, I don't care. Just, I'm reviewing this wine. I'm sleep deprived, I need I need to review this. Anyway, how does it taste? Medium minus body. The intensity on the nose is medium. Intensity on the body is medium minus. It's actually a fairly tame wine. All the primary elements are fairly balanced. I would say it is off dry. It's not, uh, it's not bone dry, it's not dry. There is a little hint of residual sugar showing up on the palate. Finish is medium minus. Alcohol tastes low. I mean, it's it's just a simple wine. And sometimes you're not, that's not a bad thing, um, but we really don't know how it rates until we get to the Blick. So from a balance standpoint, I'm actually gonna give you a full point. The only thing I would possibly like a little more of is acid, but it's not out of balance in the current acidic structure. I'm just an acid whore, so I, I always want more acid in all my wines all the time. Um, but with where it's at, it's perfectly fine, so full point. Length, medium minus finish, 0.25. Intensity, medium on the nose, medium minus on the palate. <sighs> the retro nasal buzz kick in after a few sips. So I'll go ahead and bump you, I'll go ahead and bump you to medium, but it's not, so 0.5, but it's not whole, it's not a complete medium because not all of the primary fruit elements come through on it. It's mostly the apple and the pear. The citrus kind of dies off on the retronasal. And in terms of complexity, you're 0.25. I mean, you're a very simple wine. However, there are a decent range of citrus and green fruit elements that are there. And there's a hint of stone fruit with the peach, but it's not very intense. Like, like I said, if a lot of these things kind of spiked up on the palate or in terms of the intensity, that would add to the complexity because I would get more of it there. I would also like to have a little bit more um, like breadth instead of just green fruit and citrus, green fruit, stone fruit, citrus, maybe some melon, like add some additional primary elements and they're not there. But 0.25 is not bad for a simple wine because some simple wines get zero. So in the end, you're good. I mean, is it the best Pinot Grigio I've had? No. Is it the worst? No. I've had some pretty bad Pinot Grigios. I would say it's right below the middle of the pack here. like pretty close to being mid-tier, but not being extraordinary. And there's nothing wrong with that because this this wine is doing what it wants to be. It wants to be fun, it wants to be fruity, flirty, and just out there and be one of those things where, it's. A, I mean, you're having a fling with this wine. Your palate is having a fling with this wine. It's a one night stand, one sip stand, one glass stand, one bottle stand, whatever you want to call it. That's what this is. Uh, enjoy it and have a blast. I don't know how to end this video. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's review, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2021 Lucci Pinot Grigio? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see y'all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime, one where I'm not sleep deprived, and I can actually provide you a much more thorough review after sleep. I think I already said that. I'm just going to bed now. I'll see you later.